guys, it's me, Misty Dawn, or as some of you may know me as Allison. Uh, just coming at you guys with a random vlog because I thought that maybe I should vlog considering I was inactive for at least three weeks according to YouTube. I know it kind of rounds up like the days, it rounds up by the week instead of the days, so it probably was longer than that. It felt longer than three weeks. And I felt really bad about it, and I know I tried to update you guys a little bit in some of the parts. I'm not sure if some of those parts are up yet where I kind of went on about what I was doing during that time. But they will be uploaded, so you'll probably see this before that gets uploaded, mind you. So, cool. Uh, well, I have been uh, working on artwork. I have been working on a painting, which I've been working on since back in... Oh geez, I think I started it back in December, so <laughs> it's taking a while, and if you guys have not noticed, I'm sorry if it's starting to make that weird muffled noise, I'm trying to avoid that. I'm using the old headset that I used to use when I was recording uh, Wind Waker, uh, initially I started using the internal laptop mic of a different laptop or old laptop, then switched to this, and I used this in like a lot of leaf green uh, the earlier episodes, and right now I'm using it because Legendary Plumber is currently in our bedroom recording some Mega Man. I believe it's the final part, so yeah, that's why I'm using this, because he's using Blue Snowball. I usually use the Blue Snowball for these, but can't right now. It's being used. So yeah, um, I figured I might as well show you off some of the stuff I'm doing. Incomplete stuff, mind you. I still have to complete some of this stuff, but if you guys didn't know, I do paint. I have not painted in years though, so it's kind of rough, but I like abstract things, so keep that in mind. Okay, here's something I kind of started to work on. You're probably thinking like, what the heck is that? I don't even know. I just, at one point in my life, I had this big obsession with like painting eyes and drawing eyes and just trying to draw them as realistic as possible. Now, mind you, this is nowhere near done. It kind of started off with me kind of painting in some clouds, and then I'm like, hey, this kind of looks weird, and then I try to make sun rays. And then I'm like, hey, this looks kind of boring, so let's throw some random, really weird chick thing outline, and then I was thinking about making a star background at the bottom or something, like, compl something completely out there. But yeah, I like, you know, abstract things, because it's that's what it is creativity and you can perceive it however you want to perceive it so that's something a little more on the abstract side which I have not completed yet but I'm getting to um this right over here which I'm probably going to be using for my art portfolio but it's something a little more sorta of realistic um you guys could see that the whole thing there I have not finished it um right there in the center is kinda like um I kind of based it off of a statue. I'll show you the statue in a minute as my reference. But yeah, it's basically like a, a woman, which essentially is, I believe, the grandmother of the granddaughter. It's kind of old-fashioned style, and I'm trying to put in the grass and trying to figure things out. Some of it's very disproportionated, I know. I'm trying to fix it up, but it's painting, so there you go. Um, I'm kind of more pleased about how they turned out compared to like the rest of it. I'm still working on it. It's a work in progress. But yeah, that's been taking me a while to get that done. And I have no idea how I'd ever scan that, so I'm probably just going to have to take a picture of it and put it on my DVR that way if I when I do finish it. Um, this was the statue that I based it off of. Uh, it used to belong to my, actually my grandmother, so kind of makes sense. And I think on, it says on here, you are my... Oh, I'm trying to read that. It's all in old-fashioned text. You're my crowning glory granddaughter. So there you go. I was right. So grandmother, granddaughter, putting the hat on her and the little fluffy thing at the top. So yeah, that was my base. That was kind of why I based it off of. And then the rest I just kind of made up. So that's that. Um, I'm trying to see if there's anything in my sketchbook to show you guys. Some of the stuff I already have up on DeviantArt. Um, I know I put it up on there. I don't know if I put this one up on there though. Um, but yeah, it's basically a plant. The plant is actually, oh wait, that, that way. I don't I hate how this whole camera thing is all reversed. So basically that way <laughs> is where the, uh, the plant is. But yeah, it's just 
a random plant that I decided to draw. Actually, I drew this a while ago, and I'm pretty sure I've already shown you guys Starmie, because Starmie is my favorite Pokemon. If you guys don't know, um, my hand, hooray, because at one point I liked drawing hands because I suck at drawing hands, so I tried to challenge myself by drawing hands, kind of just holding my hand out like this and then trying to draw it. It kind of works. Um, oh yeah, yeah, this is what you guys may have seen on my channel, I kind of speed art painted in, but this is like the line sketch art for it and all my little notes next to it because I was going to try to use that for a portfolio majibber thing. More uncompleted projects. This is uncompleted. Once again, I tend to do that. I was basing this off of my character, sort of, on Sotor. Uh, Amerilina, you may have seen that character, or me playing that character on some streams I've had. Sotor, uh, Star Wars The Old Republic, if you guys don't know what that stands for. It's an uh, MMO online. I won't show you guys this one because this one's kind of a surprise. I'm thinking about using this in regards to upcoming Let's Play. More random stuff that I'm just... I don't know, I'm just going through my sketchbook. Oh, this. I have been meaning to upload this, but um, essentially I had to draw someone, so I decided to draw my husband, Donald, legendary plumber. It kind of... <laughs> I don't know. He keeps saying, like, it kind of looked like... T it kind of looks like a cross between me and Tim, so I don't know if that really turned out that great or not, and I don't know how to fix it. Because he was at the laptop, and I was like, be still. Be really still, do something, edit or something while I'm trying to draw you because, you know, it takes a little bit of time and patience to draw someone and, yeah. Um, once again, another thing, it kind of started off with me drawing a controller and then I'm like, hey, I'm going to draw me sort of what it looked like that day and then just kind of go from there. So it kind of turned out with, like, the controller me kind of holding it up, like, really close and then, yeah, I started drawing a dragon or something behind it, which, I don't know, that kind of, once again, more uncompleted projects. I really got to get back to that. Um, this was another something that I was drawing for a portfolio. I don't know if I'm going to use it, or I might just start from scratch and draw a different room. This is the, uh, this is the dining room that I could see from basically the living room, our living room, and that was just the table and the, oh my god, I'm going to say this wrong, chandelier? I keep saying Chandelier or something like that. It's, ever since that Pokemon came out, I've been confusing those two. It's terrible. So yeah, it's just, like, literally, I just took a marker and started sketching, so you can't erase anything, so it might look a bit weird, like, t proportion wise and off a bit, but I couldn't erase the lines because you're using an actual marker, so. And that was the challenge. I guess I was challenging myself. Um, let's see. Oh, this. This I was kind of proud of how it turned out. I'm actually in the process of speed painting this in, so you guys will see it hopefully when it's colored and see me how I went about it. Put some background music to it, but this is the line art. I kind of had this obsession with drawing chibis lately, so and back there is kind of like the castle. I don't know if you can see that. If I can point to it, there we go. Right there, I was kind of basing off a of Hyrule castle. You kind of got like chibi. Link there, and you got Mario, and you got Red from Pokemon, and the Charizard, and the Pikachu that looks really weird, because I drew that Pikachu really weird-like, but yeah. So that's something I'm kind of working on. Um, I don't know, this kind of was just weird. I was playing Castlevania lately, which by the way, I beat Castlevania 1, yes I did. <laughs> Um, I was challenged to play that game, uh, and so I was like, yep, and I'm not used to retro games, so it was an achievement and a major challenge for me to beat Castlevania 1, so I was like, hey, I'm gonna draw just, I don't know if it's me or just some random chick or something vampirish like and holding a controller playing Castlevania, I'm just going to assume that. And the rest of it's just blank pages because I have more things to draw and more things to do. Um, I have kind of a uh, school in mind. Initially, I was thinking about going to, I don't know, a place around here, and then I was like, eh, I don't know. It's always tough to pick what school you want to go to, and I want to go and take graphic design if you guys don't know. 
that or if you guys care to know that but yeah so that's kind of what I've been doing or what I was doing for those kind of three week period now mind you it wasn't all just art um, I was like trying to get back into exercising and walking and I might at some point put a picture up of that I don't know because uh, we took some pictures while we were on our little nature walk together and we, so we've been walking for at least like an hour a day like long I wouldn't say incredibly long distance but long distance for us for other people that are used to walking distances would be like oh that's nothing that's just a casual casual stroll you know because people love to walk and run long distances so you see all these crazy people with like this professional gear on with biking and stuff and they bike all the way from freaking in town all the way out here and then they go back and it's like holy crap yeah crazy oh and I have my coffee here which I'm probably gonna forget about so it's coffee time with Mr. Don um so yeah also I like coffee if you didn't know which I don't know why you would care to know that but yay not like black coffee, like actual cream and sugar in it. Double double. If you guys are from Canada, you'll know what that means. If not, I'll explain. It's there's a place called Tim Hortons up here, and a double double basically means two cream, two sugar. It's just an abbreviation, just to tell them that that's what you want in your coffee, and that's that's me. So <laughs> I don't know. I'm just kind of going on. I haven't really planned anything or anything to talk about during this vlog. Um, Ooh, but something that did come to my mind before I started this was I could talk about in regards to the new YouTube layout. I kind of was going on about it on my Facebook page. If you guys don't know, I do have one. I know I've said that a lot, but I don't know if people actually know if I have one. And I actually try my best to update that more than my Twitter. Now, mind you, if I update my Facebook page, it's linked to my Twitter, so it'll go on my Twitter. So if you follow me there and that's how you want to follow me, that's fine. But it's always going to lead you back to probably that. So just to let you know because I don't actually tweet normal tweets very often at all rarely um, it's just I never really got into it getting back into Facebook more though um, so yeah the new layout design uh, I just recently got the little thing at the top that says hey you should switch over to the YouTube one design or something like that and I'm like no I'm not gonna do that yet because I still have the background up that I have and I kinda wanted use its purpose all the way through the let's play I'm doing which is Metro that I'm right now and then once that's done then I'll probably switch it over I've heard rumors or I don't know if it's rumors is so much as fact I don't know I read it on some website which I thought was pretty accurate that and also I found it through my partnership company I think so I'm assuming it's pretty accurate if they're going to tell me this but that um you're not forced to switch over at least like two or three months after they initially release it to people as an option. I don't know if that's actually true, but I'm probably not going to wait that long. I'm not going to be like stubborn and be like, oh, I'm going to wait forever until I have to switch over. Then I'll switch over because you might as well just give up and get used to it because it's going to happen anyway. It's just delaying the inevitable. So that's what I'm going to do after this Let's Play is done. I'm probably going to switch over to the new layout. I know, sad there goes backgrounds and things like that I have seen around that I know there's like the banner thing but th I've also seen on other channels where there's almost like a colored background sort of I don't know if that option is given to everyone or if that option is only given to partners and that's kind of their perk that they get for being partners instead of because you know everyone gets a banner now so I don't know what that is I'd have to figure that out if I switched over and then yeah, mess with it uh, here's a question for you guys. I know you might just say, oh, it's up to you, it's your channel, which is true, but I still like your opinions. Um, I was thinking at first, you know, how I kind of make my banners or backgrounds and kind of theme it now to, like, the one Let's Play I'm doing, kind of like Chugga Conroy does or has Criss Cross Media do for him and various other people out there as well. Um, I'm wondering if you guys would want me to continue with that even though with this new layout like have my banner always look like based off the game I'm doing or would you rather consistency where I just make one thing and kinda have that as kinda my branding I don't know if that's what you want to call it I always don't like calling it like oh branding like as if it's like oh I'm a company like no but <laughs> I'm just 
curious as to what you guys think about that. If you like the whole consistency, like, okay, if I see this, I know it's Misty Dawn. Uh, or if you like the fact that I theme it to, I don't know, the video games I'm playing and things like that. So just let me know. Comments below. Interaction is key. I like interaction with you guys. I try my best to get back to your comments as much as possible. And I know I'm, I'm not looking straight at the camera. I'm looking straight at the screen, my preview screen. Everyone has a habit of doing that. Even I do. <laughs> so, and I'm realizing this is going on to 15 minutes, so I should probably start wrapping it up really soon, considering I don't have much else to really rant about and talk about. But, yeah, I just figured that you guys should know what I've been up to lately, and, you know, that I have a Facebook, and I will be posting stuff there, random whatever, you know, even stuff that I just find and I don't know I probably should put more random I've been thinking about putting more random things in there like just random pictures I find that I think is funny or just random stuff that I like or just get your guys opinions more to kind of interact with you a bit better and also so you can get to know me and my interests and what I like and what I don't like and blah 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 but at the same time I'm kind of worried that that's gonna annoy the crap out of you guys like oh my god another freaking post from her and it's not about an episode I don't care I don't give two craps about this picture you posted up there, who cares? Like, I don't know what you guys think, and it would be nice to know if that would be something that you would enjoy. Would it get too annoying? Do you rather it just be, you know, just for serious updates and my Let's Play parts being posted there and that's it? Like I said, let me know below because that would be helpful because I'd rather not tick someone off with me just doing this all of a sudden. You know, all of a sudden, I tried for a little while, and then I realized that not many people were really commenting on them or not really caring, I guess. So that's why I was a bit concerned about, like, you know, posting that kind of thing. Like, oh, my God, another freaking post. Like, come on. So I just don't want to freaking have tons and tons of my posts on your Facebook feeds or whatever. So, yeah, just let me know basically all that stuff. And I'm probably going to wrap up this vlog. I know I keep saying that. I tend to rant on and have very long wrap-ups to Let's Plays and vlogs, but yeah. At the same time, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I'm forgetting about telling you guys. And probably once I stop this recording, I'll probably remember it. That sucks. I don't know if this ever happened to you guys, but you'll stop a recording and then you'll be like, Oh my god, I forgot to mention this, the most important part. Yeah. So, um, I was going to say if there's any like video games I was playing recently, I think I've been trying to 100%, well I have been, not trying to, I, I'm doing it anyways, 100%ing uh, Majora's Mask, because I never 100 percent Majora's Mask before. Well, when I was a kid, I got all the masks, and got the Fierce Deity Mask. Um, oh, and here's a fun fact, I never actually beat the final boss without using the Fierce Deity Mask. I know, oh my god, because the Fierce Deity Mask makes it such an easy boss fight, but hey, I was a stupid kid, and I was like, oh my god, I just want to finish the game. So, therefore, I took the easy route out. But now, I want to beat it without using that mask, because that mask is so overpowered, it's ridiculous, compared to, like, the other way of fighting Majora. But, yeah. So, um, oh crap, there was probably spoilers in there. Hopefully you guys have all played that game. Ah! Uh, but yeah, I'm trying to get all the hard pieces and the other extra things like the bomber's notebook and solve everyone's problems. Because you get a different ending. I'm pretty sure I read somewhere you get a different ending if you solve everyone's problems at the end of the game. Different kind of cutscenes happen. So I really would like to see that, get as much out of that game as possible because that game is awesome. Even though Ocarina of Time is my favorite one, and yes, people have said that that game is completely overrated. Yes, it kind of sucks. It's an awesome game. Like, I really like it, but I'm not to the point of saying, like, oh my god, every other, every other game after that is crap. Like, I'm not going to say that either. It's just, for me, it's more about, it's a great game. It's more about the fact that it's just nostalgic for me because it helped me get into or open the door for video games in my fascination with them, I guess. And all that jazz, so. Yeah. Okay, so that's what I've pretty much been doing lately in regards to video games, and I'm going to wrap it up now because it's going to 20 minutes. So thank you guys for watching this if you have watched this to the very end, and I'll see you in the next vlog. Goodbye!